Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dice Forge. I have now cleaned it up. I'll try to be a little more careful as we continue into round two. So it's, uh, once again, we're starting out and we're gonna each, every player rolls dice. And again, in a two player game, it's twice. Let's see what Jen comes up with. She gets a sun shard and some gold. And then she rolls again. And she gets two more gold, bippity bop. All right, so Jen's getting dangerously close to being having no room to take gold. But remember, Jen hired this guy, so on her next turn, even if she doesn't give tribute to the gods, she'll be able to give up three of her gold to get four points. Now, I forgot to mention, every time you take a card, you um, flip it over. Every card you take, you flip over. Most of them on the back, they just say, oh, well, n nothing. Um, they're just worth points at the end of the game, and you keep them in a score pile. But this one I flipped over, it's a reminder that at the beginning of every turn, Jen can convert money into points. Uh, and it's always good. There's several different ways that you can money sink and convert money into points, because money is worth nothing at the end of the game if you don't find some use for it. Uh, but anyway, so Jen has rolled, I think. I've totally forgotten. What did she just do? Did she just get two more? I think she did. Yeah. So, I think I did. Right, and Jen's almost full. I also roll twice. Let's see what I get. Two gold and um, two points and one more gold. So that's three gold. One, two, three. There we go. And uh, it's my turn. So once again, I've got a bunch of gold and not a lot of shards. Now, like Jen, I have one red shard. So I could come over here and complete one of these. I call them quests. Actually, I looked it up. They're feats. One of these heroic feats. You know, get this guy on side or defeat these little pixies. But here's the problem. If I spend my sun shard to come over here, Jen is occupying this space. Now, she doesn't stop me. I can bump her out. I can oust her. And that means whenever somebody gets ousted, they come back here and they immediately get a blessing of the gods, which means if I do that, to come over here, Jen will get two roll. We'll get to roll her dice and get two resources. So while I might want to come over here, because you know Jen might grab this other guy and then he's gone. In a two-player game, there's only two of these. So I'm a bit nervous about that. Um, but I don't want to give Jen the chance to roll more. But this is a really great card. So do I spend my red? No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Instead, I am just, I've got seven bucks. I'm going to pay tribute to the gods. I'm going to keep on upgrading my dice. So I've got seven. How much do I want to spend? Well, you know what? Jen didn't take this, so I'm going to spend three of my seven and get this other low-level sun shard. And now I've got four, or, yeah, three of my seven, and I've got four more. Um, so I could, yeah, I'll get this one that gives me a gold plus um, one moon shard. All right. So there we go. And now, once again, I'm going to put these on my dice. I want to, let's see, this was the die I was putting stuff on. I'm just going to keep on upgrading this die. So I will put this gold moon on here. That's my next upgrade. And what the heck? Let's just, I, I've completely blinged this die out. It has no more starting gold and instead has... Everything is cool. Uh, either I'm going to be always getting shards on this thing, or victory points, or and there's still potentially get gold. So that is now an awesome Uber die. And my other die is still in its startup state. And um, that cost me an additional four, so I am out of gold. My turn is over. Um, and now Jen's turn. Let's see. But once again, before she does anything, we roll. Jen makes two gold, and now she is full. She's getting to roll again, and she hopes she doesn't see any more gold, because that'd be a waste. She gets two points and one more gold. She cannot store it, so that gets wasted. And I get to roll Whoa! two victory points from my super die, plus one gold. And I get to roll again. All right, one moon shard and one gold. Nice. So there we go. And now, what is Jen going to do? Well, first of all, before Jen does her main thing, which is, remember, either do a heroic feat or pay tribute to the gods, because Jen's got this guy at the beginning of her turn, she can give up three gold. And she's going to, because one, two, three, because, I mean, she was overloaded with gold, and that gets her one, two, three, four points. Boom. And she can do that every turn for the rest of the game. Now what is she going to do? Well, I think she's going to pay tribute to the gods, because she doesn't want to get overloaded on gold again. Although, the interesting thing is, I didn't take it away from her. You know what? So I think Jen, this might be kind of bad because she it might temporarily kind of bum her out. But Jen is going to stay where she is. She's already here. She didn't get kicked out by me. She's going to spend her one red shard and hire 
this guy again. So now she gets to make use of his services twice every turn. He is himself is not worth any points, but this means every turn Jen can give up six gold to get eight points every turn. So that's pretty cool. Which means, before too long, Jen's probably going to want to upgrade and get some of these things that produce more gold than normal so she can pump them into points because she is focused like this. So that was it. Now that, but again, that means Jen's probably going to go overboard, but it'll be worth it in the end. We'll see how well that works out. So that was Jen's turn. We are now moving on to round three. And um, let's go on ahead and roll twice. All right, I get another and some gold. Come on, show me some of my new stuff there, buddy. All right, I have two points. I'm not saying no to two points. And some more gold. And meanwhile, Jen rolls her dice, which have yet to be upgraded. She's still just using her normal stuff. One moonstone and one gold. And one, ooh, one sun and two points. Actually, Jen's getting pretty lucky there. All righty. So that is that. And um, now... It is my turn. So what am I going to do? I've got some gold. I've got some moon. And I've still got some red. I'm saving up this red. Because here's the interesting thing about red. If you have two red, you can spend two red to get a bonus action on your turn. So you could give tribute twice or do two heroic feats. So I'm just trying to save up so I can get some more red. So in the meantime, I do have two moonstones, which means I could do a feat this turn. And I could come over here to get this money sink or this thing that lets me, this bank, this vault that lets me store more stuff. Or I can afford to come over here. I think I'm coming over here. I'm going to spend both of my moonstones to make friends with this mystical deer, this mystical doe. Now this is worth two points and it has a reinforcement ability, just like Jen's. For the rest of the game, at the beginning of my turn, I get to roll an extra die. So at the beginning of my turn, I get to roll five dice instead of four. So hope that will pay off for me over time. So anyway, so that is now a special power I've got. And um, right, so I went on a heroic feat instead of upgrading my dice. Because I didn't have a lot of money. I'd rather save up so I can get a, a much extra die. So that was it, Jen's turn. And once again, we both roll our dice. Ooh, a red and a blue. And gold and gold, wow. That is amazing. I did not think that was going to happen. I thought for sure Jen was going to have to waste some gold, but she got lucky. So, and I'm rolling twice. Let's see what I get with my super die. Um, I am also getting some shards and another shard and some gold. All right. So, and now Jen is off to the races. But before she does, she is going to make use of the old hermit twice and give three gold twice to get eight points. One, two, three, four, five, six to get. Um, it basically goes from get 10 gold. Boom. Nice. All right. And now, so that was a bonus thing. And what is she going to do? You know what? It's interesting. Uh, she'd like to spend this gold to get some better gold producing upgrades for her dice, but she needs to keep the gold to be able to spend it. But I think, yeah, she is going to finally, she's going to upgrade some stuff. So she's going to pay tribute to the gods. She has six gold. She'll spend three of it, one, two, three, to get one of these, uh, get provided with four gold. Now, unfortunately, Jen can't spend three and get, because remember, you can only buy one from a given pool in a given turn. Um, but Jen will spend two to get this triple gold generator. All righty. So Jen is now down to one gold. So she now really wants to start producing gold. And so to up her chances of spreading it out, she's, gonna put, um, she's, gonna, she's not going to focus on one die like I did. She's going to spread them around. So she'll put this four on this die. She'll get rid of one. Now, interestingly, she doesn't have to get rid of gold. She could get rid of her, uh, her sun shard, but that would be crazy. She's going to get rid of one of these basic starter golds and replace it with a quadruple gold, and hopefully that pays off in the future. Although there's only a one in six chance of that, so we'll see how well that goes. And over here, although again, yeah, so it kind of makes sense to put both of these super things on the same die, because what do you want to do? Do you want to spread those chances out? Because then you could maybe get seven if they both come up. Yeah, she's still going to spray it around. All right, there we go. There we go. And so that's two upgrades for her. And now here's the interesting thing. Jen has two sun shards. So if she wants, she could spend them, bippity bop, to get a whole second action. And with that second action, 
Well, she's only got one gold, so that doesn't make sense to do any more tributes to the gods. But she has two moon, so I think with that one extra action, she'll spend one moon to come over here. She could spend two to come over here, but... The, mm, she wants to roll more dice like me. So, she's actually going to spend two to come over here. Now that kicks me out, and because I'm ousted, I get a free double roll. Let's see what I get. I got a gold, and my choice, two gold or a blue moonstone. Um, I'll take the blue moonstone for now. All right, so that was for, so Jen gave, I say thank you very much for kicking me out, and now Jen is going to get this other one, because Jen was worried that I was going to keep all these. So now Jen, every turn, is getting to roll five dice on her turn like I am. So that was that. Okie doke. And so we now move on to round four of nine. This is a fast game. So it's my turn, and because I've got my dough, I'm getting to roll five dice instead of four. Let's see. Which means one of my dice. Remember, so I'm going to roll. Tw I'm going to roll two dice. Then I'm going to roll two dice, and then I'm going to roll one die. And I get to choose which of these dice. And that's why it was really good to make sure one die has a whole bunch of really cool stuff rather than spreading it around. So I'm going to roll twice. And hey, I get a sun shard, and I get some gold. And then I roll again, and I get a moon shard and some gold. And now. Because I'm in good with the Mystic Dough, or whatever it's called, I get to roll one more. I'm going to do my souped up die, and it gets me two gold and another blue. Boom. Nice. Okay. Now, Jen, meanwhile, she only uh, her dough won't activate until her turn, but she still... Now, Jen wants gold. She's low on gold. She wants to be able to feed the Hermit. Yeah, four gold and a blue. So there's a blue. And um, one more four gold, and she gets to roll again. Again, only a two-player, and that's just two more gold. That's not quite as exciting. Okay, and so it is now my turn. Um, I am almost completely full of gold, so that's kind of scary. But I'm also full of... Right, so here's what I'm going to do. For starters, I am going to play one blue um, to visit over here. I don't want to kick Jen out and give her more stuff, and I am going to invest in this vault. Alrighty, it's worth two points, and this uh, tornado means do something immediately when you buy it. The immediate here is, I get to upgrade my board by putting one of these on here, so I can now carry more stuff, and I don't have to, uh, so I can save up for really big turns and don't have to worry about um, running out of space. So anyway, so I did that, and it's worth two points, and it comes over here and joins my dough, although it doesn't have any special powers ongoing, uh, while she still does. And... Now, I'm going to spend two red. That gives me another action. And so for my next action, now this is crazy, I could spend another blue and get the other one, and then I'd have a super crazy amount of storage space. Or I could stay here and spend one and get this. Now what this does is it's the uh, hammer. You take it and you install it right here, and then this becomes an alternate use for gold. Every time I collect gold, I can either store it or I can spend it to move up this blacksmithing track. And when I completely fill up the blacksmithing track, the first time I do it, I score 10 points. The second time, I score 15. So Jen's got both of those really cool um, gold sinks. I could get a gold sink myself. Because there will come a point where I don't need the gold to upgrade my dice anymore. So it might be kind of nice to do that. Or, if I don't want to do that, I've got so much gold now, I think I'm just going to upgrade dice. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. So I've got 10 to spend. I could almost get up to 12 and get one of these bad boys. But you know, if you 10 to spend, how the heck, I'm going to spend 8, and I'm going to give myself a double Sun Shard. I could have gotten three victory points, but I want Sun Shards right now, because the more Sun Shards I have, the more I can do bonus actions. So this is all I bought is from eight, so that puts me down to two. And where am I going to put it? Let's see, so I could keep putting it on my super die, but I'm happy with all this stuff, so I'm going to finally start putting something on my lesser die, so it gets kind of exciting too. All right, so there we go. That was my turn. All right, and now it is Jen's turn. Like me, she has the dough, so she gets to roll five dice. Uh, two gold. F um, oh, no! This is the per Four plus three is seven? She only has three spaces. No! Ah! And now she gets to roll once more. Uh, she, all right, well, she, this is the mostly gold, so she'll roll this and hopefully not get gold because she's full. And, okay, she got two points. Yikes. 
That was painful. She just threw four gold away because she didn't have the extra storage like me. But now, so she used her dough to get the extra roll, and she's going to use both of her hermit access to spend six, gets her down to six, and that gets her eight more points. Um, boom. Nice. Okay, so Jen is really working that. And now, what is she going to do? She has no red, so she can't pay to get extra turns. She's got a lot of gold, but she wants to save that gold to convert it. So, she's got one blue, which means if she spends it to come over here, she'll be kicking me out. But Jen does not want to get stuck within... All right, so Jen is going to spend her one blue, and I'm not going to mind, because boom, she just ousted me once again. I get a free roll, and hey, I got two sun. Nice. And in the meantime, Jen came over here to get this blue because this is worth two points and she wants to have some extra storage as well because that was painful. No more painful storage woes for her. She has just given herself a lot more space. And then this has no other function ongoing. Okay, so that was Jen's turn. Fine. Uh, we're now moving on to round five of nine. We're over halfway through this game, folks. So it's my turn. I am rolling five times. Let's see what I get. Two victory points. One, two... And move, that means moved up. And a gold. It's my first roll. And another sun shard and another gold. There's my second roll, plus one more. Now, do I want my super that'll always give me something nice, or do I want this, which will now nah, this only has a one in six chance of giving me something really great. So I'll just go with my super die again. Which gave me one. Alright. So man, I've got so much red now. Wow. Okay. So, oh, and Jen, she's rolling, but um, it's not her turn, so we don't use your uh, so she just got two points and one gold. And what she got? One blue and one red. Okay, there we go. And so now, what am I going to do? Well, first of all, I'm, I know I'm going to use two red, so I can do two actions this turn. But even still, I've got so much red. Uh, I've got six. Six. Instead of doing two actions, I could spend all six of my red and come over here. And that gives me access to this. So, this is worth eight points, plus, here's an interesting thing, I will immediately get to do four single rolls of a die. So I could roll the same die four times, and just take whatever I get, but every time I get gold, I could convert it into victory points. That's a one-time thing if I defeat this Cyclops. But then I'd be completely out of red. I don't think I want to do that. So instead, um, right, ins all right, because I had six. So I'm going to spend, uh, I don't know, I'm going to spend two red, one, two, and come over here and complete this. Go on this epic voyage. This is worth four points, and it gives me, I immediately apply this to one of my dice. So hey, it's one of these special faces. Now, what this does is, every time I roll this, I immediately get to make a die face purchase at a two gold discount. So this can speed up, if I get lucky, my opportunity for upgrading my dice. So let's put this on my weaker die. And I hope I'll roll that soon. All right, so I'm just upgrading like crazy. So that was my main action. I traveled over here, but now I can spend two red to get to do another action, which is interesting. I could immediately just buy another because I've still got two red, or I could go someplace blue because I got three blue, or I could do a die upgrade. But I don't think I want to do a die upgrade because now I wanted to use die upgrades with that. So I think I'm going to go to a blue. Yeah, I'm going to come over here and spend all three of my blue, and I'm going to defeat, and recruit the piggy. I forget what it's called. It's like the, the genacious hog or something like that. But um, this is a really awesome one. Oops, I didn't set these up right. There's one for every color. I should have had, I've got the yellow and the brown. I should have had the blue and the green, but I'm not going to pull it out of the dice. We'll just say that, yeah, um, I'll worry about that later. So anyway, so I'm buying that. It costs me all my blue. So this is worth four points, and I get access to the piggy. I'm the green player. This should be the green one. I just didn't bother to get it out, but I will get my proper green face. And now here's the interesting thing. Up till now, you've been seeing me put um, faces on my own die. This face goes on Jen's die. And whenever she rolls this, she gets a benefit, and so do I. So I give it to Jen, and then Jen decides what die she wants to put it on. Um, so we're going to put it on this one. All righty. Boom. 
And now I hope to see that piggy a lot. Because when this gets rolled, well, Jen gets her choice. It's nice. It's an upgrade for her. She gets one red or one blue. Her choice. But me, whenever she rolls it, I get my choice. One red, one blue, or three victory points. So I could be making stuff on Jen's rolls. Nice. All right, so that was it. I'm done. Uh, and now it is Jen's turn. And once again, we're going to roll. Jen rolls five. I roll four. And let's see. She just made three gold. One, two, three, plus a red. And she rolls again. And she makes one gold and one red. And now because of the dough, she gets to roll one more time. And she's not going to roll this because she doesn't want me to benefit. So she'll roll this one and stay away from the pig, eh? And boom, she got four gold. One, two, three, four. And fortunately, she had the storage to save it. Right, and meanwhile, I will roll four dice. And let's see, I got one blue and one gold. One blue and one gold. And another blue and another gold. Okie doke. There we go. And Jen is in the hopper. What is she going to do? Well, first of all, as always, Jen is going to give up six. One, two, three, four, five, six to get eight points. Boom. Wow. I am really starting to regret. Remember, I could have gotten that other one, but I didn't want to give her two resources by ousting her. And because I've done that, she is just raking up the points. I maybe made a terrible mistake letting her monopolize that hermit like that. We'll see how it works out. But anyway, so Jen did that. And um, now she's going to do her main turn. And what is she going to do? I think she just wants to keep on upgrading her gold engine. So she's going to attribute to the god. She has nine. And what will she do? She will spend four of that nine to get this six gold face. Boom. So she spent four. And where? And she's going to put this on one of her dice. And she's then going to spend two red so she can do another turn. So she could go to the gods again. Or she could. Yeah, she is going to go to the gods again. And she's going to spend. Right, so this is a whole different action. She's got to spend three gold, one, two, three, to get this four gold generator. Boom. So, yeah, Jen is really becoming a gold powerhouse, um, which is good because she, I mean, she needs gold to keep feeding her, um, her hermits. Nice. Boom. And let's see. Yeah, she'll just replace this one gold with this four gold. Yeah, pretty soon Jen's going to have so much gold she doesn't know what to do with it. Although, and you know, if she's making so much gold that she can't feed it all to the hermit, she could always invest in this blacksmith hammer because then that becomes another way she can spend gold and just convert gold into points. While me, I, I've done a lot of upgrades and I'm, I'm going, you know, and I've done, well, actually, no, we've both done four uh, heroic feats now. But anyway, so that was Jen's turn. She's done. And now we move on to round six of nine. And once again, I'm going to roll five dice. Jen's going to roll four. Ooh, okay, I got a blue. And I now immediately pause the game, and I get to buy one die face at a two gold discount. So I've got six. That means I could buy an eight right now. What the heck? Let's go on ahead and do that. And I'm going to get this, so hopefully you can start generating some points for me. And um, what will I put it on? Well, I, considering I'm going to get to keep on rolling, I might get a chance to roll this immediately. I'll go on ahead and get rid of another one of these lobby. Right, so that was my first roll. Remember, I'm rolling five times, so let's roll again. And I got a gold, and a two gold, and a blue. Oh, wait. I, oh, I did not actually pay. Um, yeah, so I should have paid six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Totally forgot to pay for that. All right, so. As, and now I get another roll. Do I want to roll this that can maybe give me a point or give me another cheap buy? Or do I want to roll this, which has a much better shot of giving me shards? Let's roll this one. Come on, let me get another freebie upgrade. Nope, just a single red. All right. So that was it. That was very exciting. And meanwhile, Jen is just going to roll her dice twice. Two gold. Man, that's boring. Let's hope for something a bit better next time. Six plus one is seven gold, baby. Boom. Up to 11. Um, wow. Okay, so Jen's going to continue to feed her beast. So uh, that was it. Um, because, yeah. All, all I've got is the dough. I don't have any of those other reinforcements like Jen does. And what am I going to do? Well, I could definitely do two actions. Now, this is interesting. One thing, if I just get one more blue and two more reds, I could get this guy, which is worth 16 points plus a point for every upgrade I've done. I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the longer I wait for this, the more valuable this gets. I've only got three bucks. 
I don't think I want to spend three bucks on um, you know going to the gods because now I can you know when I get lucky and roll this I can do upgrades without having to spend time doing it. So I got four blue, four blue. That means I could get um, oh I could get the other piggy. Yeah, I'm just gonna spend three blue. Well, actually, no, I don't think you can get another piggy because I could, I mean, because there's only one in my color. So yeah, I'm not gonna get the other piggy um, because I'm not the yellow or the gray player. So that doesn't make any sense. So I'm not gonna get the other piggy. Or actually, oh yeah, no, 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 it does. Yeah, I can do. Yeah, okay. Right, because I've got this yellow piggy. So actually, the colors don't matter. I never occurred to me before. This is the first time I've actually played with piggies in this particular game. So I should have actually put the proper piggy on gens before. I'm sure Paulo has already made a note of that, but let's go on ahead and just fix this. All right. Because I'm just because I'm the green player doesn't mean I put the green piggy on because I had the yellow piggy card. So anyway, let's go on ahead and put the yellow piggy on. Functionally, it didn't change anything. And for fun, for grins, let's go on ahead and I'm, I'm going to spend three blue. One, two, three. I'm just going to stay where I am. I'm going to get the other piggy, which is the gray card. And that means I give Jen the gray piggy. In a two-player game, there are no more piggies because there's only two of each type. I give it to Jen. Jen can put it on either die she wants. And again, you know, this is helping her, but it's helping me more. What will she do? She'll go on ahead. She won't consolidate the piggies because that makes one die significantly, or it makes one die stronger for me. So she'll spread them out and try and weaken them relatively. All right, so there we go. So I bought the pig A. And now I could take another action. Yeah, I will. I'll spend. I'll take another action, um, and then which my other action is to spend another red to come over here and do this quest, which requires one. This is worth two points, and I immediately get one, two, three, and one, two, three. Boom. And that was just a one-time thing. Okay, so that was my turn, and now it is Jen's turn. Um, she gets to roll five and then spend gold, and I get to roll four. And all right, so that's two points for her. She's been rolling that a lot. Come on, show me a piggy. Show me a piggy. No piggy. Six gold. Oh my gosh, she can't store it all. So much gold. And another red. And now she rolls one of them. Either way, she has a one in six chance of showing the piggy. She doesn't want any more gold, though, because she's full. So which one will she take that has less gold? Or less gold spaces? This has one, two, three. Or one, two, three. Right. This has a, more, a higher chance of hitting gold. This has a higher chance of getting stuff other. So let's see what she gets. She gets three gold. She can't store it. No! But if she had rolled the pig A, she would take a red or a blue, and then I'd get a red, blue, or points. But it was she got gold. She couldn't use it. Right. And now she will, as always, spend one, two, three, four, five, six gold to make eight more points. Boom. That is a big, big deal. Okay. And now what is she going to do? She will... Um, you know what? I think she'll spend a blue, and she will get this vault. Now she's got someplace else she can toss gold. In addition to turning it into points, any excess gold, she can start building up here to potentially get more points. So it just lies up here. All right, and she could spend two reds to do something else. What would she do? Um... I don't think so. I think she's just going to wait. She's happy with that. She wants to save up for like a higher value red, like this uh, Medusa, which just gives her 14 points flat out. So that's her turn. We move on to round seven. Only seven, eight, and nine, folks. Just a few more rounds. And as always, we roll the dice. I roll five. She rolls four. And we keep on um, tributing and questing. And that, folks, is just a quick view of Dice Forge. And if you want to hear some final thoughts now, you can hit that eye in the top right corner of the screen or follow the show notes in five, four, three, two.